Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the Photoshop Quick Guide and to using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite. In this video, I'm going to be editing this beautiful Vizsla shot by Amanda Voller using the Fur Babies. I'm going to move fast. This is more of an editing recipe guide for this image. Um, if you would like to watch the full tutorial, please do watch video two on the video tutorial library on the LSP Actions website um, under Fair Babies. And you can see all the tutorials there. So I've just played Magic Image Balancer, which has just kind of balanced the image out a little bit more. And I'm going to play Warmer Scene now to really warm this image up and add that vibrant kind of toning to it. Now down onto the brushes, um, I'm going to use Tack Sharp just to kind of start bringing out these details of the face a little more. So just around the eyes and nose. Just to bring some of that focus back in there. I'm going to play Bright Eyes, just to brighten these little eyes up, which are just as um, the same as we do for people when we're, when we're shooting fur babies. You want to edit for the eyes, um, the nose, really bringing the attention into that beautiful little face. I'm just playing Nose Kiss now. So I'm just going to paint this over the nose, really make that snoot bootable there. And take that opacity down just a little, because we don't want to lose too much of the natural pink tone in the nose. Play the gentle darken brush now, just to darken the background a little more. You can see I've made the brush a little bit bigger just so I can wash this over the background areas. Now let's sort the toning out. So I really want to go for a vibrant, warm um, version of this image. So I'm going to play Go Away Green to start getting rid of some of these greens in the background. I do quite want to keep the green, um, the green in those leaves right overhead. You can see that the, uh, some of these are actually quite a bluey tone, so I'm going to play shoe blue as well, just to finish those off. some warmth back in now to this background. Just brush it a little bit bigger. Go for a real kind of autumnal full tone to this image. See, I'm just adding some warmth in there. Now I'm going to play the um, painterly fur here in the Lattice section. Painterly silk fur, so I'm just going to come in nice and close. Zoom in just a little bit on our lovely dog here. Let's brush a bit smaller and really bring these fur details out. Absolutely beautiful finish with that one. So now let's go down to the diffuse finishes here. How about the warm mix? We do want a nice warm image. How about sunset glow because it really is that time of day. You see that's added an instant toning to the image there. Just paint that off our little doggy a little bit. And how about beam as well? That's going to add this lovely light beam here. I'm just going to lower the opacity of that one because it is rather strong for this image. It all depends on which kind of image you use. Tone, slight, slight cool toning to the background here. Play that around just to add a little bit more variation. And perhaps evening just to really darken the image down a little bit because this is kind of an evening overcast shot. But this is going to be quite strong for the image. So I'm just going to take this off the areas where we want to kind of be in the light. And take the opacity down a little. And to finish, let's add a contrast boost. And we're done. So I have to take a screenshot there and come back up. So before and after. 
course you could go many, many different directions with this kind of edit. I've just gone for a really warm and cosy look for this one. But you could use um, completely different overlays. You could use a completely different mix of overlays here um, to go for an entirely different look, for example, like this one here. So you'll see we've got this look and this look, just a few clicks, entirely different. It all depends on your vision and what you'd like to create. You can literally do everything with these actions. You can watch the other video tutorials on Fur Babies on the LSP Actions website or over on YouTube. If you're going on the website, go to www.lsp-actions.com, go onto the tutorials section, the video library, and choose Fur Babies, and you'll see all the actions there. You can also download this set from the website. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.